I am constantly isolating subjects from a background. I've released a couple of videos on how to do this in the past, but Photoshop 2021 has given us some cool new tools and I've been using them a lot and I just feel like I owe it to you to stop for a minute and show you these new tools and how to isolate insanely fast. In fact, I'm gonna show you isolation on three different images today and it's not gonna take very long at all. It's really amazing. So let's just jump right into it. There is a new option now for selecting a figure which you can access from your quick actions under the properties panel in Photoshop. Now, I will note that if you just opened up your image, you have to make sure that you unlock that layer. So I'm just gonna double click on this layer to unlock it. And then what you're gonna get is, you're gonna get this remove background and select subject option under quick actions. I'm just going to choose select subject. And what you'll notice is that Photoshop makes a smart selection around what it thinks your subject is, isolating them from the background. And honestly, this is pretty darn good as a selection right now without me having to do anything. But if you've ever used Adobe's selection tools in the past, you know that there is a really nice menu you can access. Just by choosing one of the selection tools here on your toolbar, I just choose W for the selection tool. And then you'll see here at the top, you have a select and mask option. So I'm gonna click that. That's gonna take me into the select and mask interface. And I've done tutorials on this in the past, but I wanna show you a recently introduced feature up at the top here that's called refine hair. So if I click that, you'll notice that Adobe attempts to clean up the hair on my subject. Now, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here and show you that this isn't perfect, so there are a few things that you're probably gonna have to refine. Like right here, it went a little too far down into the hair and it selected highlights and, and not just the hair itself. But overall, for the fact that this took me like two seconds to, to do two clicks and get here, this is an incredibly good mask. In fact, I'm just gonna hit okay on that. I'm going to add a layer mask down here at the bottom of my layers palette. And then I'm going to drop a color behind it to just see what it looks like. So I'm gonna create a, a solid color. Let's give it some color here, some yellow, and I will drop that underneath that. And you can see now what my selection looks like. This is really incredibly good for the amount of time I spent refining this mask, which was almost no time at all. But what about an image that's darker? And what about a model who has more hair? So let's go over to this image. So you can see that there's a lot of contrast in this image. I've got a very dark side of the model, I've got a lighter side, and I've got a lot of hair. Let me go ahead and unlock this layer again so that I get the quick actions on my bar. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create a solid color layer to put under it so that once we make our selection, we can see what it'll look like. Let's just give it a, a color. I'm gonna drop that underneath. Now I'm gonna click on the layer I wanna select and I'm going to choose Select Subject. In this case, we've got already, again, a really nice selection, including a lot of detail in the selection around the hair. But I'm gonna go ahead back into my Select and Mask interface. And remember, you can't access it from here on your toolbar unless you're already using a selection tool. So make sure that you have one of the selection tools. It doesn't matter. One of them active, and then you'll get this option for select and mask. I'm going to click that. And again, I'm going to click refine hair. And let's just see what Photoshop does without me putting out much effort. So you see that it took a little more hair from the head that I wanted. I'm, I'm just gonna select that back real quick and then I'm gonna hit okay. Now I made a minor adjustment here and two clicks and a little bit of a paint stroke. Let's see what this looks like. I'm gonna put my layer mask onto it and look at that. We're looking at this selection against a colored background completely different than why I took it off of and this selection looks really, really good. and. There may be times where you need more precision than this, but you can see how this 
this is super fast. And for most purposes, this is going to be an amazing tool that won't require much effort on your part to refine. However, both of these examples I just showed you were in front of a solid background. So I was curious, how would it do on an image like this? Now you'll notice I shot this on the street. There's a lot of detail in the back. We've got highlights in the hair. We've got a patterned outfit. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create a solid color. This time, since the background is already colorful, I'm just gonna get a gray. And I'm gonna take that down uh, oh, I need to unlock that layer. Make sure you unlock your layer. And then I'm going to take that color fill beneath it. And now let's commence with the selection. Again, select subject. And again, Photoshop has already started with a really amazing selection. But let's go ahead back into select and mask. See what that looks like. It's not bad. Let's see what it does with refined hair. So it took more off than I wanted with refine hair. So I'm going to undo that. I'm just going to leave it like this. And I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to put that layer mask on it and drop it over this layer. Now, that looks really good. I mean, I didn't even use the refine hair. I ended up undoing that because it didn't help me. But right now, let's, let's see that background again. You see how messy this background was, particularly over here where the hair was. We have a lot of highlights, a lot of shadows. And Adobe Photoshop did an amazing job of isolating that, even of getting her outfit correct with all the stripes that it had on it. This is very impressive. So you have these tools at your fingertips now to make almost instantaneous selections of models and this is saving me a ton of time. I used to actually pay editors just to isolate subjects from the background because it was a time consuming thing. So this is taking a lot of time out of my workflow and making me very happy. So I hope that this is useful for you. There's obviously a lot of tools that I didn't go over here in the select and mask interface. I do talk about these in other videos, but I just wanted you to see that with the new selection tools, you can make these selections in one click and you can really have an amazing looking isolation with little or no effort on your part at all. I hope that this saves you a ton of time like it's saving me and kudos to Adobe for continuing to improve this awesome software. If this video was helpful for you, please consider subscribing to the channel and share it with a friend. It helps me continue to create content for artists and photographers just like you, and I appreciate your support.